Five Reasons Delta Live Tables is my guilty pleasure. One, development is quick. I once did a project that was scoped to originally build some Spark structure streaming pipelines, but when I got there, I realized the team had never done streaming before. So we switched to Delta Live Table pipelines. We finished that project early, weeks early. JetBlue has also said in their blog, it has made them so much more productive. Two, I can write it all in SQL. I mean, I could write it in Python, but my brain defaults to SQL. I can use autoloader, I can use the streaming syntax, I can do stream stream joins if I want to. Three, I get this cute little directed graph. Not only does it show me the dependencies, I can see what to table and what to view. I can see the schema, and if I've set any expectations on my data, I can see just how bad it was. Four, less infrastructure, faff? Okay, let me show you what I mean. This is the guide for structure streaming in production, and yes, it's thorough, but honestly, I'd rather not. When using DLT, so much of this disappears. I don't have to think about batch sizes or trigger intervals or setting up RocksDB or scheduler pools or machine types. There's just so much to it. And with DLT, I don't have to think about any of this stuff. Finally, five, failures and recoveries are so much easier to handle. Checkpointing is handled for you, so if there's any failures, you don't have to reprocess the entire thing all over again. You're going to have more uptime and fewer alerts at 2am when you didn't anticipate just how much traffic you were going to get from those Black Friday sales. Now look, I get it, there are limitations when it comes to Delta Live tables. If you are used to tweaking every single setting or you've got a very specific config, then it might not be for you. But if you've never used streaming before, or you've got a load of batch pipelines that need to go faster and haven't had the time to get around to doing it, this could be a really good option for you, whether you do it for a whole pipeline or just a partial one. If you want to get started, check out this guide here. If you like Databricks and want to see what else is hot on Data and AI, follow for more.